Hey, I'm Ryan. I'm Andrew. I'm Jacob. And we're reviewing the Lone Ranger trailer that came out this morning starring Johnny Depp and Army Hammer. Now, directed by Gore Verbinski, the guy behind the Pirates' first three Pirates movies. Um, so, just first impressions. I really like it. I thought it was a good trailer. Andrew? I was pleasantly surprised by the trailer. I thought it was a lot of fun. I thought they were going to go a far more comedic rap with this movie. I thought this would be a part of the trailer, but, but wait, no. It's, it's just the Br Jerry Bruckheimer Films it, logo. It, it's a minute and a half, and the logos take up 25 seconds. That costs more than most small movies. Now, Tom Wilkinson voiceover. Tom Wilkinson voiceover. Here's a little tidbit of information. In the original radio serials, the Lone Ranger is a ancestor of the Green Hornet. Tom Wilkinson now has appeared in both of those films, which is just kind of a cool little thing. But yeah, tonally, this trailer is a lot different than I thought it would be. Yeah. I thought it would be a lot funnier. I thought with Johnny Depp wearing a bird on his head, surely they must be going for comedy, but they weren't. And actually, yeah. I think it works. Yeah, I thought Army Hammer was going to be a, like, uh, Americana, you know, hero, yeah. kind of goofy. There's, and they might still go that route. Yeah, we'll see. But there's Helena Bonham Carter in another movie with Johnny As Depp. As a lot of commenters have been like, oh, where's Tim Burton? Johnny yeah, the Depp answer is home. he's uh, right yeah. there. I'm just kidding. That's not <laughs> um, But yeah, I think it looks to me like they're trying to do for the Wild West what he did for the Caribbean and Pirates. And I think that's really cool. It's It looks gorgeous, honestly. It I mean, they spent does. a billion it's, dollars on it's it. So Butch it's Butch on Bazelli, the director of photography, 35 mm -hmm. millimeter. He's worked with Gore before with The Ring, which, mm -hmm. for my money, was probably his most beautiful looking movie. Very uh, nice looking movie. They haven't worked together since, so this is kind of a yeah. bringing them back. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, it, it's been reported that the movie had a lot of financial trouble. You know, yeah. it was originally going to be $250 million. They apparently took out a lot of the supernatural elements, including demons that turned victims into cannibals and ghost coyotes. They took that stuff out, That's made it a true blue western again. And brought the budget down to two hundred and fifteen million dollars, which is I think yeah they were running into some trouble after the John Carter fiasco. There was a little bit and of and the a Cowboys and Aliens tense, fiasco. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I mean Disney was kind of in hot water after the John Carter fiasco. I mean hot water. They're fine, but um, <laughs> Avengers you kind of made up. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean I think what they have looks really great. I think this is a really cool trailer. Um, a lot of fun. I would have liked to have seen that was a Barry Pepper quick shot of Barry Pepper yeah. and there's a, a, our first like really good shot of Army Hammer as well. I really like Army Hammer me too I think he's and a lot of fun this is kind of the money shot of the Johnny Depp literally no lines in this trailer yeah. and possibly no lines in the movie well um, he, he I think Tom he does Toe have a line he says being very verbose doesn't he say there comes a time where every hero must wear a mask is that him? yeah? I, yeah, it's the, I couldn't tell. I can't tell because in voiceover. Yeah, yeah. I, sure I instantly that. recognized Tom Wilkinson. Well, but, I, I, oh, I want to so say two worries I have for this movie. Mm -hmm. One worry: the budget worries me. I, that you know, traditionally the John Carter kind of a western, even though it's Mars, it's very western esque kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Cowboys and Aliens, kind of a western, and both of those cost over two hundred million dollars. This mm -hmm. costs over two hundred million dollars. American westerns traditionally are what they are. There's so many of them. They're so easy to make because it's guys on a horse in the desert. They're cheap to make. They're cheap to produce. Right. I'm worried that they're putting too much stock in, into this. But it looks good. I'm not going to lie. I it mean, looks really it looks... Good. They spent a lot of money, yeah. and it looks like they spent a lot yeah. of money. Like, it, it really... I, I'm excited to see it. And previously... Before this trailer came out, I had absolutely no interest in it. Yeah. Um, My other worry is Ted Elliott and Terry Russo. I know you're a fan. I like them. I think they're good writers. I think they're quite possibly one of the worst teams of writers. I mean, it's just the Pirates sequels. They were so... They See, were, it was no. a catastrophe of writing. They were so terrible. But. See, I think they were probably answering to a lot of masters on that, but... Maybe. I think they're, Maybe. I think they're really talented. Well, think, unfortunately, yeah. their same masters are in this movie, so it's not well, like... You know, that's but we'll away. see, man. I mean, we'll I, I yeah, think they've turned true. out really good work before. So I'm really excited, too, uh, about uh, Jack White doing the music. Mm. A lot of the character actors in this, uh, William Fitchner, Ruth Wilson's going to be the love interest, mm. and W. Earl Brown and Leon Ripley, two From Deadwood, Deadwood guys. Yeah. Great character actors. Returning to the West. Returning to um, the West. So we're really excited. Jacob's over the moon about it. So it looks, it looks a lot better than yeah. that. It really does it look good. It looks good. So we're excited. Let us know what you think. Comment below. Remember to subscribe. Until next time, thank you for watching. I'm Ryan. I'm Andrew. And I'm Jacob.